Hi guys. It is Voodoo here. How is everyone doing? I hope you all are doing amazing. And I hope you guys have something good to eat. Today I have um, a place called Hawaiian Hungry Hawaiian, which is Hawaiian food, obviously. Um, so I have a couple things here. I have a two plate um, entree plate, mixed plate. Um, it has chicken katsu, which is crispy chicken. Um, I have barbecue mm, teriyaki beef. This is teriyaki beef. I have mixed veggies and then white rice. And this is the katsu sauce. And then I have two musubis. Look how big they are. And then I have a, um, this is a, uh, what is it? Guava cake. Yeah, so I'm excited by that. Or I'm excited to eat that. And then I have some extra rice. So yeah, let's get into it because I am hungry. It is six in the afternoon on a Saturday. And it is September 26th, 2020. Mm. I can't, I, I'm gonna drip it all over the place, but. How green the broccoli is. Mmm. It probably just blanched it. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is how you make broccoli. That's just the teriyaki beef. Let me chew my food. Come on, chew, chew, chew. not eaten all day. I worked. Um, I just got off work a couple hours ago. I mean hours ago. Passed out. Woke up, got hungry, and ordered me some food. So this is my first meal of the day. It looks 6 p.m. Um, mm -hmm. This chicken cocktail is bomb.
There we go. Perfect. Bam. So, what are you guys eating today? It's been such a long week for me. So I told you guys um, in my last video that I work with FedEx now. Now, if you can imagine um, any kind of delivery service Amazon, U, um, UPS, and FedEx. They are going through the works right now. Um, <clears throat> peak season. For all delivery services, not just FedEx. But peak season is typically around November, um, so before um, Christmas. And then it goes all the way till January, till um, after New Year's. That's peak season for um, any delivery service. Starts in November. But because of COVID, peak season started way early in the in the year in March, um, and it has not stopped ever since. So it's been pretty busy. <clears throat> and if it's not even peak peak season yet, I can't imagine how bad it's gonna get around soon. So I'm just bracing myself. I'm taking, um, usually a lot of people are like, will work seven days a week sometimes just to um, make money for Christmas. I, I don't care. I'm taking all my days off. Um, I could work for sure and make more money, but I think I'm good. I think I'm... No, I'm not going to overwork myself. My body is like tired. It's literally tired. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, When I first started working in um, in July, my body was getting sore from the um, heavy lifting, and my feet would hurt. Now it's not so much being sore; it's um, more just exhaustion. It's just I'm just tired all the time. So. So, yeah, it's just, I take advantage of my days off. A lot of people 
are still working. They go hard all week, six days a week, seven days a week. And some of them are. I know this kid who is going to school as well as working full time. And I'm just like, how the hell do you do it? How? It's crazy. I was, excuse <clears throat> um, we just got some new hires. There's two new hires. There's one um, vet who's been there for a year or two. If you if you can last there for a year, you're considered a vet because it's that kind of job, you know. Um, and then there's me who's in the middle of the vets and the um, new hires. But um, so me and the other guy who's pretty much a, a vet there, we like. We know what we're doing, so we, we kind of just go through trailers because we were loading trailers and packages to be shipped out to who it needs to be delivered to, whatever. And then we have these two newer guys who are just pretty much dragging their feet the whole time. Sorry, I'm looking over there. Um, who just drag their feet the whole shift. And um, told me in... Um, my other coworker, where we were loading the trucks and we were just talking and just saying like this, that kind of job, it takes a certain kind of person to do a job like that because it's, um, you're moving around trailer to trailer. You're not just staying in one place. You are moving around lifting heavy mattresses, heavy grills. You know, you're doing the small packages. You're doing a lot of industrial heavy metal stuff. And then um, you have these two newer guys who are like dragging their feet and me and uh, the other guy are just like, they are terrible, you know, they're just horrible. They are just going from trailer and just staying in one trailer. They're not moving around because you really have to make sure in order to finish all your work, you have to move around and get because um, you have like 15 different trailers between four people. You have to keep moving around, moving around, moving around, and it takes a lot of, it takes a lot out of you, so it takes a certain kind of person. We were just talking, and we were just like, those, those guys are horrible, like, it's a lot of work, for sure, but they are horrible, they were not doing nothing, and I was just telling him, like, this job takes a certain kind of person, it takes a, someone who's really strong mentally and physically, <clears throat> to really take on a job like this. But, um, I don't know why I brought that up. I don't know. But yeah, but that job, yeah. I'm probably just going along tangents of everything and anything I can think of because I'm just super tired. <laughs> so yeah, that's how work is going. I forgot what the hell I was talking about. Anyways, I'm going to get to this food because I'm hungry. Mm. This guava cake looks amazing. Look at that. Ooh. Ugh. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do that right now. I want to eat this right now. I don't have to wait. <sighs> Anyways. <clears throat> anyway, speaking of my job, um, this will be the first year in five years that I can actually dress up to work. 
And whoop de doo, the one deer, the one deer, oh my gosh. The one year that I can actually dress up to work. Sorry, to work. <laughs> this whole coronavirus thing happens. And that, I mean, I can't go to, I mean, I can go to parties, but it's like, you have to be very cautious of what you're doing on Halloween now. Utah is a... Uh, Um, doing this thing where they are letting people know in order to keep the risk of getting the COVID-19 there shouldn't be any trick-or-treating there shouldn't be any parties there shouldn't be um, you know all the normal stuff that you do on Halloween so it's it sucks and yeah the one year I can dress up to work and the one year I can actually do something on Halloween because Halloween I think lands if I'm not wrong, lands on a Saturday, I think. Which is a good thing, but it's also like really the one year that I can have Halloween off. <sighs> this whole COVID shit has to happen. But yeah, but yeah, I can dress up to work though, which is nice. Yeah. I'm still thinking about what I want to do for Halloween. Or what I want to dress up as. Hmm. Who knows? I might just be like. I might be that. Um. That. That shower. You know, in the Karate Kid, when he goes to the. A Halloween party as a shower, as a shower. <laughs> when he has that shower curtain going around him. It might be that, who knows. I'll be creative. Or I can just be a geisha and wear this, this kimono. <laughs> who knows. Keep looking over here. Anyways. What are you guys doing? What are you guys up to? Um, My brother and his husband um, just bought jet skis. So they're out trying to trying to milk whatever a good weather they can get. Um, it's not even good weather outside though. It's kind of there's like an overcast. So, but they're like, oh, okay, I don't care. So they're at the lake right now, jet skiing. I wanted to go, but I'm so tired. Anyways, what are you guys eating? This chicken caught too. It's bomb. Crunch. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Come through, Crunch. For all my subscribers out there, all of them, 
Um, <clears throat> I will be very soon. I will be um, upgrading my my camera game or my camera camera game game, not gain. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Um, so I've been looking on Amazon for a camera, a vlog camera, or a really good quality camera so I can film better videos. Um, so I'm looking into that. So before 2020 ends, for sure, I will be getting a new camera. Um, and these videos won't be so, I like to call them rustic, but they're actually really ghetto. <laughs> They're, they just suck, you know, but I'm just using what I can right now. But yeah, so I'm going to invest in a new camera, um, maybe some new lighting. Um, I might invest in a little studio area where I can like just make, just film really good content, excuse me. And I can do vlogs maybe. I... I want to find a, uh, like a niche or a niche um, that can stick to, you know, that I can stick to, to really set myself apart from a lot of the other channels. Otherwise, um, it's mine is just going to be another floating video in YouTube that won't stand out to anyone. So I need to really capture um, a niche for my YouTube channel. Um, this mukbang thing is great and I think I'll keep doing it, but maybe even like a food review channel, a local food review channel, um, just to promote local restaurants here. Um, especially during this time, since, you know, a lot of um, small local businesses will be going out of business. Those are the ones that I want to support. This is a local local restaurant. This is a uh, hungry Hawaiian. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start doing food reviews on, um, local restaurants. This is really good. Um, is this, does this set, <clears throat> sorry. Is there anything that sets this apart from any other of, of the Hawaiian places? I think so. I mean, um, okay. No, they don't to be honest, because um, I I love Mobetas. Mobetas is a good place. Mobetas is another Hawaiian place here in Utah, which is delicious. And then there's LNLs. LNLs, I think, is international. Not international. Yeah, international. Um, or nationwide, sorry. Um, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, I don't think there's anything that sets this apart from the other places. I think they're all pretty much the same. I mean, they have their Kahlua, they have their Katsu chicken, teriyaki beef, rice, macaroni salad. It's all pretty much the same with all the Hawaiian places. But this is um, a local place, so glad to help them out. And it's called Hungry Hawaiian. This Katsu though is bomb. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, I'm way, I'm way, way over time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to, I'll save this all for later, the food. And I'm going to dig into this, um, guava cake. Let me <clears throat> wash that down with a little bit of passion, paso guava nectar, which is passion fruit and guava of avi. And yeah, and then I'm going to get into this. You know what? Um, 
I think it's really weird for me when people take sips of the drink. Um, that's actually normal. But to me, it's weird because I am a drinker. I can, not one can, just bam. I can just down it like nothing. So when people just take sips, I'm like, you don't want to just drink the whole thing. There's a little spider right here. Oh, looks like I need to get a um, exterminator in here. Anyways, um, yeah, I just down it. I don't. It just bothers me when people are just like. Pfft. People are just like this. No, I'm just like... Down that shit. Okay, I'm getting into the squat bucket. I don't even care, okay? <clears throat> that was good. I'll have to put her aside. And finish her later, okay? You know, I was never really a dessert person um, growing up. Never was. Um, I think yeah. So I don't know what what changed that. Cause now I'm like big into dessert into desserts now. Um. Yeah, after a big meal, you always have that extra space in your stomach for um, dessert. But this is guava cake. If you guys don't know what guava cake is, I don't either. So, um, <laughs> it's pretty much like red velvet cake, I'm assuming. Come for me if you want to. You have every right to because I'm just speaking. I'm just blowing smoke up your ass. I don't know what the hell it is. But I'm assuming it has the texture of red velvet cake, but it's not red velvet cake. Same texture, but the flavor is um, guava. And if you never had guava before, it's. I think it's. Um, I think it's similar to mango pomegranate. Listen, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay. If you guys know, just let me know. But I know it's a fruit, a tropical fruit, fruit. Gosh, okay. Mmm, mmm. You know what that tastes like? Very, very similar to strawberry cake. Very similar kind of it's sweet sour not sour but it's like tart and it has um like a buttery taste to it this is bomb oh my god mm. look at that look get into that get into that You know what? That's what I'm, I th that, I think I just might do. Did I think I just might do um, desserts? Just desserts. So what I will do is I will um, just eat my food off camera, and then eat my dessert for um, a mukbang. So I'll be dessert eating Vita. Voodoo desserts, dessert, voodoo views, <gasps> voodoo reviews on desserts. 
It's actually a really good idea. Mm. Wow, this is so good. Look, look. Mm. This is a big slice too, and I'm eating every single bite. I'm okay. Mmm. Very similar to strawberry. Yeah, because this was a, a strawberry cake. Mm hmm. Very similar, but very different. Yes, I'm showing you every single freaking bite because <clears throat> so good. Last bite. Oh yes, you thought I was kidding when I said I was gonna eat the whole thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't even care. Oh, look, it blended it with my shirt. <clears throat> Last bite. Oh, I am enjoying this. Mm -hmm. Ready? Set. Go. Now that is what I call delicious. I knew that I would kill that one can of um of my drink, so I got two of them. so bad. I'm not gonna burp. A little bit. Anyways. <clears throat> oh. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. I hope you are having an amazing meal with me, and I hope you're having a wonderful day, and you're staying safe out there and being good to one another. Um, so yeah, for those of you who are watching, um, who do watch me, stay tuned because I will be upgrading my um, quality in my videos very much so. It's very much needed because I'm sick of going through my videos and then being blurry as hell, but you gotta start somewhere, right? Oh, there I go, sorry, excuse me. It just came out, okay? It just came out. Oh. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, be good to each other, eat something good, enjoy your food, and I will see you next time. See you guys.